Oh, hey, new kid. T-Mobile, here it is. All right, are you ready to do this? Let's go. If I can't use my mobile devices, I can't save this town. Let's go find out what's wrong with this place. Okay. I mean, like I said, you got plenty of phones there, so I don't think, unless they're all canceled, in which case, yeah, that is very suspicious, I guess. That's assuming you stole them all and they're not legally yours. So, <clears throat> what seems to be the problem, T-Mobile? Clearly, the problem here is the loading screen. <laughs> so, we seem to have some very bad reception, if that's the case. Either that's an in-game joke, or the Switch hardware is not as powerful as I wanted it to be. I'm starting to think it's a latter option. Holy crap, this really is a long loading screen. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> the hell? It shouldn't be this long, should it? Usually it's like... Is it loading like a very long cutscene, or... Did the game freeze? I think the game froze. Wait, I just heard a car moving. I'm not sure if that's from the outside or from the in-game, but... I'm hearing music too, so... Something's functioning. Fuck, when was the last time I saved? I know it auto saved, so I think I'm still fine, but... What the fuck? Is it... Did it, did it really just... Look, Nintendo, I love you and all, but... I, I like the portability, and I definitely do like that you have some third parties in your hand. But, uh... I don't know, like, exactly how easy it is for third-party developers to port your games into it. I'm not sure if I really should be blaming Nintendo or Ubisoft for their... I wouldn't say piss poor job. I think they did a decent job at porting South Park to Fractured But Whole, but this is just. I'm questioning things. I also noticed there's some things like lagging behind. Some frame rate drops from time to time, so it might be lazy porting too, especially since this game, while it is less powerful than the Xbox One and PS4, is not too far off with the type of game that this game seems to be uh, going for. Like, it's a very simple sprite type of video game. I don't think it really should require that much power to power up this game, but something's going on, and I don't know whether or not Nintendo is to blame for the way the Switch is very powerless compared to the comp uh, competitors, or if it's Ubisoft. It has to be Ubisoft, because Doom can run perfectly fine in the game. Now, to be fair, I haven't actually tested out Doom on the Switch yet, nor do I plan to since I do already own the game on PC. But from what I've heard, Switch, the Doom port runs perfectly fine on the Switch. 30 frames per second constantly, so it's not as good as its competitors, but like it, it's at least consistently 30 frames per second instead of like any frame dips or whatever. But this one is just, I don't know, it's like, I guess I'm going to reset. I really hope it auto-saves to somewhere close by, and I guess this is a... a quick warning and into telling you guys that you guys should probably save as often as possible if you really want to play this game because this is going to be uh, an issue if it continues to persist. I really do want to like this game and to, to of course I do definitely like this game. It's humor is still amazing as ever and it's gameplay, it's RPG mechanics, it's turn-based battle system. I think it's very good. It's like they, they clearly had some sort of like good level designers out there. I think, well, it's Ubisoft, so they recently made a, what was it, Rabbids and Mario's Kingdom Battle, which was another turn-based RPG type of game. So, uh, well, then again, I think South Park Fractured Butthole released beforehand, so maybe that was a precursor. That game, this this game is a precursor to uh, Mario and Rabbids. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's probably why the RPG is actually really good. It's because they actually hired some competent game designers or game uh, level designers specifically to bring out the layout of the combat, like how these interactive environmental hazards have specific enemies do specific things, uh, have some specific ailments, have immunities to specific ailments. 
I think what they did was really well done, despite it being a South Park game. It's something you never really expect, honestly, but it's there. But yeah, gameplay, the game by itself is very good. And I'm not going to argue against that. It is a very fun game to uh, go through, especially if you're into the South Park humor. But um, in terms of like the game engine, or at least a Switch port, that's where I have some of my issues with. And um, I will say, like, unless you really, really like the convenience of portability, it's probably best to just get this game on PC or PS4 instead. And Xbox One, assuming you own any of those systems. Otherwise, if Switch is your only game console, then, well, obviously, it has to be... You have to buy it on Switch. Um, but yeah, if you have the option and you own the Switch version... I'm sorry, if you own a Switch and another system... Um, me personally, I think I would probably play it on a different system instead. Unless you really, really love the portability, in which case, right, okay, maybe you can play on the Switch. That's my personal preference, at least. Alright, let's hope this uh, loading screen let's problem doesn't persist again. I can't skip this cutscene, interestingly enough. Alright, so it's loading. Car's passing by again. Let me get a glass of water real quickly. It's still loading. Is it only for this cutscene? Like, what the hell's going on? It's happening again. It's still loading. I can't skip the cutscene. I can't hold the B button. I think this will be like an, a very huge impractical joke if this was just a cutscene and the loading screen just happens to perfectly replicate it, but no, I can't skip it. If that's the case, and that's a. If this is a joke that they did, then that's a stupid one. <laughs> like, I, I feel like a joke. That's the farting vigilante. Okay, never mind. For a second, I thought something happened, but no, it's just. What the fuck? Okay, something's wrong. Something is very wrong. For some reason, I can't progress through this cutscene whatsoever. It's just... What the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna search around YouTube or whatever to see if this glitch still pertains to um, everyone else or if it's just for some reason my copy that's fucking up because I can't continue this mission for some reason. It's just gonna be a continuous loading screen state. And I don't know why. Whatever. We'll be right back with the next episode of South Park the Fractured Butthole. Stay tuned.